<laughs> Admiral Redis, you fool, you've come across the grandest of the grand admirals, the king at Triple B. Let's just say you're no match and I have the perfect counter for your trash. Get this fly out of my view. Commence primary ignition. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, going to Detroit, that's right. We're on top as always. In day one, we already got a pretty solid way of handling the profanity without the need of your own profanity or executor. So if you're ready to learn about this forbidden imperial knowledge, sit back, relax, and let's get on into the domination. <laughs> so we're kind of jumping a few steps ahead here. Normally after a new unit comes out, we show how good or bad it is. At this point, you probably know it's already amazing. I'll still do a more like gameplay review of this, but at four stars, profundity is amazing. Seven stars, more-ish amazing. I don't know, it feels basically the same at four and seven stars. Mirror match is fine. Able to beat executor. Executor is able to beat this on defense. The problem I want to help start addressing is getting the conversation rolling on ways to counter the profanity without your own profanity or even exactly whether you're an off meta meathead like I am or you just don't have access to a Rattus profanity or the executor for, from Piat. So what we're going to do is I'm going to showcase what seems to be a good way of starting the conversation for counters. And one thing to note, not all Omicrons increase sheep, ship, sheep speed, ship speed. This Omicron does increase it by one. Not all the Omicrons do. This one is one of those weird situations where it does. It should be 194. So one speed difference. That's why I'm just making sure I put out the things that could change here. But otherwise, here's what I'm thinking right now. Grievous, Geonosians, and this is probably the biggest problem maybe is I feel like TIE Bomber is very helpful as a second reinforcement for this line. The moral of this counter is blitzing down Rebel Y-Wing fast they need to be out ideally within the first few seconds now they normally do this big opening play here and here's where it could get a little complicated let me explain why once i finally get a turn here any second now all right here's the main concern that i have sometimes you won't have ability block on either the soldier or spy here we do and we need to cleanse them off which is a bit frustrating but it just has to be done so we're gonna go clean up that ability block but the problem is here's why i don't like to do it Anytime we're using a special from Grievous, we're spawning a Vulture Droid, right? Problem is, anytime we spawn a Vulture Droid, Redis has a counter to that by getting protection up. If you can get away without having to spawn a Vulture Droid, you're going to get this Rebel Y-Wing out faster. We're making our life more complicated, which is fine. We're going to roll with it. At this point, we full send. All in Rebel Y-Wing. Full effort. Hopefully, we get lots of good assists. Just keep going. We need some more assists. Let's go. Send it. All right, not a great opening play here, unfortunately. We're going to roll with it. And, uh, let's see what happens here. Not completely ideal. Let's get our buzz droids on, and hopefully we can get some nice assists here. So sometimes you don't get the Rebel Y-Wing out right away. But you're going to bring in Hyena Bomber. Then once Hyena Bomber comes in, we're going to do this, and we're going to hopefully get some assists from our Vulture Droid. That's fine. And there we go. Rebel Y-Wing is out. I was hoping to impress you more. Sometimes I can take out Rebel Y-Wing within the first few opening plays before I call my first reinforcement. But this is still good. We're running in a very good situation. It's kind of good showing the non-ideal situation here uh, sometimes. Now you're kind of forced to go after Dash Rendar. We're going to go after Dash Rendar. Once the Rebel Y-Wing is out, they lose so much protection because Rebel Y-Wing is allowing for protection regeneration every single time they're critting, which is like all the time. And once the Rebel Y-Wing is out, at the minimum, kind of like when Executor came out, I can at least ensure you that once you get the Rebel Y-Wing out with this lineup, you're in cleanup territory at that point. And if you do happen to lose, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be a pretty banner win here. But if you do happen to lose and not able to win, you can then just clean it up with something because Rebel Y-Wing is no longer gone. Now we're just gonna kind of stall it out. They're gonna get some more protection because we're spawning some units, but eventually second reinforcement is going to be TIE Bomber. TIE Bomber is like nasty up against them. And we'll talk more about that here in a bit, but we're just gonna keep going after them. They're eventually gonna bring in their, uh, oh, they already brought in ghosts, we're good. So they already brought in all their reinforcements. Now we're just kind of waiting to finally get out there. Look, look at all these hits they're getting out. If Rebel Y was here, they would still be getting tons of protection generation. All right, and then in a moment, we're gonna get our turn. Let's go get some Buzz Droids on first. Buzz Droids locked in, all right. I, you know, just I know we you would like to do this without tie bomber. Let me just show it with tie bomber. Listen, if this is gonna work with tie bomber, it's not a horrible trade off. I mean, this is kind of a big deal because a tie bomber, we're getting we're slowing it down. Once the burning's locked in, it's a, this is driving up the wall. By the way, I need to rant about this. We are we're having a hard time. I think these still the the vulture droid assists are still bugged. 
for some reason i'm not getting the assist every single time and it's kind of a big deal to get your assist um on the vulture droids we're not getting it all the time for whatever reason i think that's a problem all right this is fine we're gonna go we're again we're gonna give them protection up but we're gonna eventually get grievous's ultimate off before radis can take us away with his little pranks here and then they're not gonna have any more bonus protection so we're gonna spawn another unit right there let's just do a basic and eventually we're gonna lose that at after the after rebel y-wing and outrider's gone it doesn't really matter who the reinforcements are they're not going to get nearly as fun of a play yeah i guess we'll just do this right now it's kind of a waste here all right and we're going to probably lose hyena bomber again not pretty but we're still okay let's go get some buzz droids on all right they're going to taunt light him up boy boom all right buff the spells all that fun stuff let's just go ahead wrap it up nicely done so i'm actually happy we didn't get the ideal outcome here um we had some rng problems it's not gonna be great banners, but this is a day one counter. I don't think we're to expect a perfect 73 banner win up against Radis without using an executor or Radis of your own. But at this point, game, set, match. Rolling it again. Again, priority is to just get rid of the Rebel Y-Wing. They seem to tend to go for my Geo Spy, but that's fine. They just gotta survive the opening hit. That's why relics and mods are gonna be helpful to keep them alive. And what we're gonna do now, sometimes they might get a dodge and they won't have ability block if they have ability block you got to use this if they don't have ability block you're pretty much in the clear for one shot and again i'll show gameplay of what that looks like when you don't have ability block on you we got to get rid of it got to get rid of it all right they're gonna get the spawn that's why i try to avoid using specials on grievous in that opening play because now i got to get through this bonus protect which is tricky full send got to go all in maybe we can get some nice plays there we go and see but if you notice if we didn't have protect ah oh! <laughs> go even with the protection up we lit him up baby that's what i like to see we're gonna lose sunfac we're gonna lose spy good wow okay not losing spy that time but let's just pretend the spy shouldn't be a oh my gosh why is it i can't have this all the time all right next reinforcement hind a bomber that's coming in let's go drop it get some nice assists but see look 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 i didn't get my assist this guy should have assist there are so many battles where there are critical assists being missed so keep in mind this is working even with the vulture droid being bugged on the assist and the problem i see i don't think cg is going to rush to fix this because they don't want to make it easier for us to beat the profundity all right here comes the cleanse buff the spell we're going to lose spy again not pretty banners we're going for wins here going for wins that way you can beat these profundities if you don't have one or put a much difficult defense and not have to worry about bringing anything serious up against them all right we're gonna go do AOE, that's fine. We need to get some people on for them to, to beat up. We're gonna get Tide Bomber in next to get that buff to spell and that protection up. See, I'd rather them take the hit than kind of Bomber, for example. But that protection is a big problem. You gotta definitely know when to use specials and when to not use specials from Grievous. We're just gonna sit here and there we go. Now we're gonna bring, once I bring in Tide Bomber, I'm feeling pretty good. Now, I know, it's, I know people are, are gonna be, again, it's for day one, this is not a horrible trade up having to use Tide Bomber on this lineup here it's not a bad trade-up yeah you would like to save tie bomber for the empire lineup but there's a bigger fish in town literally at this point let's go send it and this is not a bad trade-up now maybe you could try to make this work without tie bomber and cool um i just when i don't use tie bomber it seems a little bit trickier that's fine next turn we're gonna get uh we're gonna wreck their protection so we just gotta survive just a little bit longer they're gonna get it again it's just a matter of once we get our ultimate they get no more protection and we're in the clear at that point and let's go ahead and drop some buzzies on them let them breed and make lovely little vulture droid babies here all right and they're gonna get uh, casting out here again i don't know if casting's really is i mean it's it's a reinforcement but i think you're probably gonna want to save that for later on for uh akbar lana boom there we go got the nice buff the spell there and now they can't get any more protection and again not pretty it's a little tricky i think we're taking a little bit longer to get out this outrider here but look they can't get any more protection which is great let's get that buzz droid on all right and let's see if we can uh boy any moment now we'll get them out there we go there we go i was about to scream i was like where's my assist where's my assist uh we're gonna bring out some more vulture droids and probably what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this no 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 unclick 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 all right now i've noticed this too even when i bring in a reinforcement sometimes i'm not getting a, uh, an assist here that's kind of a big deal let's go ahead and uh let's go get that assist on ghost here we're gonna get out there get some buzz droids did I, uh, what the hell, did I tar target the wrong one? <laughs> oh, well, uh, let's just do basic here. There, uh, a little annoying, a little annoying, a little annoying. Let's see if we can survive post-alt world. Again, kind of why TIE Bomber is a 
big deal here. Look at that. That was brilliant. There we go. We got some assists there. Uh, you know what? I'm going all in on Falcon here. Almost down for the count. Hopefully, maybe Buzz Droids do some good work here. Ah, they got it cleansed off. Well, it's all right. We'll see what we can do here. Let me see what we can do. Uh, basic. There we go. Nice assist. They're done for. So even in post-Ultimate World of Raddus, uh, I will admit, I don't normally let Raddus get to this point, but sometimes it does happen. But even, even so, at this point, we're definitely in cleanup territory. Uh, let's see if we can maybe just do basic here. They didn't get the assist. There we go. See, like, we're missing key. Like, the Ghost should have been dead by now, but they are not. So there's some bugginess to it all. I feel like we missed on lots of assists here. But I did want to show that, you know, you're going to at least get in a very good cleanup situation. Let's roll it one more time. I, I really want to show you guys in real time what happens when I don't have an ability block on one of my Genos on the opening play because it just is so much easier to be thermal wiring. But again, if it doesn't work, we'll show you some B-roll footage of me practicing behind the scenes here. They're going to go all in on Spy, likely, it seems like. All right, cool. Here we go. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. We don't have ability block on. Granted... It would be nice getting that crit damage down off. But here is, I'm not going to use this because I don't want to give him protection. So I'm just going to do basic for right now. Sometimes we get a stun. There we go. And now we can stop the protection disruption because when they get protection disruption on us, they, they're guaranteed to get crits. Now they can't. So we're going all in, all in at Rebel Y Wing. And here we're probably going to knock this sucker out. Look at this. Three, two, one. Get out of here! <laughs> so there you go. Sometimes, because remember, when, when Akbar, <laughs> sorry, my bad. I don't want to be a Mon Calmarius here. When Radis does that opening play you need to make sure you hit certain thresholds to get the ability block if you can avoid an ability block for whatever reason enjoy it because then you can for sure get rebel wiring out and you know you're in cleanup territory let's bring out our high bomber and again now you know the drill we're in phase two of the battle uh after rebel y wings out that's phase one phase two is now just surviving until we get to our ultimate ability and that's gonna be with the help of bringing in heavy tanks like Hyena Bomber. And then the second reinforcement is going to be the Imperial TIE Bomber here. All right, we're gonna lose people again. Not pretty banners. It's just a matter of we gotta win. And plus the nice thing about Hyena Bomber coming in as uh, your first reinforcement, you're getting critical hit immunity, which really slows down, really drastically slows down the opposing team's progress because they need to get lots of critical hits to get rocking and rolling here. There's their bonus protection because we spawned the Vulture Droid there. A little annoying, it's an inconvenience. But it's something just to make it a little... You have to have, it makes Grievous work a little bit harder for this. All right, we're going to probably lose Spy right about now. That's fine. We're going to go get our TIE Bomber in here in a moment. TIE Bomber coming in. We're going to go slow them down. Burning is huge up against the Rebellion fleet. Go ahead, buff this spell. Burning locked into place. And now this gives us a ton of time to reach the Grievous ultimate. And I'm hoping maybe, you know, again... This first counter that's kind of being put out there. I'm sure there's going to be der derivatives that make this uh, maybe better. Maybe it's... Oh, you know what? I'm not going to spawn a unit here. Oh, there we go. See that? you got to make important calls. Like, do I really need to... Do I really need to use that Grievous special right there? And in that situation, I don't think we did. All right, we're going to go ahead, drop some buzz droids. Let them make little buzz droid babies on them. Once they take a turn, it'll multiply to three. Cassian's going to come in. It really, I think uh, Profundity is kind of one of those fleets like the Executor. You just want Ghost, and or you want Phantom first, then Ghost, and that's kind of it at that point. And uh, there we go. Game, set, and match. I'm really happy with this video outcome. I showed you bad RNG. I showed you what happens most of the time when you're going to have an ability block on a Geo Soldier or Spy at the very beginning of battle. And then uh, we also showed what happens when you don't have ability block on the opening play. You can just completely... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can just completely gun down the Rebel Y-Wing right away. Let's go get some Buzz Droids over here. All right, and we just got to survive a little bit longer. You know what? Let's try this. Let's get a buff the spell. I haven't used Karth yet in any of these battles here. Uh, let's just do basic. There we go. Hopefully, we can try to get this guy out of here. There we go. I need some assists. Give me those assists. So what the hell? This is what I'm talking about. This, this battle should be so much easier if not for the bugged assists. That we, like, we should be getting assists out here, whatever. And we, now we can just spam specials galore because they don't have any more protection after Grievous used the ultimate. Basic. There we go. Even if Redis did hit his ultimate by now, it's game over. They have nothing on us. We're golden. Nail's going to turn the three buzzies in a second. And yeah, that's it right there. So guys, day one, I think I got a solid counter for us. Genosians blitzing down the Rebel Y-Wing. Once Rebel Y-Wing is out, it's kind of like when the... Xanadu Blood is out of the executor lineup. You know you're in cleanup territory. Just you're gonna have to bring in another solid fleet, B grade, you know, something like that to clean up the rest of it. 
And you know what? I'm feeling like more often than not, you're probably going to one-shot this fleet. But the TIE Bomber, as of now, is very helpful for it. Maybe down the road, we're going to get a new unit. Remember, we didn't have a perfect one-shot. Well, we did originally when the exec count, then they buffed it. Hopefully, they don't buff the profundity here. But eventually, we had a two-shot counter. Grievous is kind of a one or two-shot versus the Executor. And then eventually, we got the TIE Echelon, which was the first real off-meta counter that we came up with when it got out the Galaxy of Heroes. So that's going to wrap it up for today, y'all. Woo! We're going to see how this shakes things up. But hopefully, this is a good starting point for guilds to use in Territory Wars. And of course, in Grand Arena. Let's keep the domination going because let me tell you, the Kyber Club is always on top of their game. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And always remember, woo, it's great to be in the Empire today.